Hey friends, welcome to today's video. My name is Stephanie if you're new here and today we're going to be reviewing some of the shades from the recent Great Barrier Reef collection from Dimension Nails. So as you can probably guess, this was a summer collection that unfortunately had to launch really late due to some supply chain issues, but they're here now and I just had to pick up some of these shades because they are just so, so beautiful. So yeah, let's just get into the swatches. So the first shade is Giant Clam, which is described as a light creamy neon green. And I think it looks pretty color accurate here in the bottle and in my swatches, but as what tends to happen with neons, my camera did freak out a little bit here and there, so apologies for that. But onto the formula, well, as you can see, it is insanely full coverage to the point that it's almost opaque in one coat because it is just super, super creamy. I really do think if your nails are shorter than mine and if you're a little bit more careful with your application, you could probably get away with just one coat, but I'm showing two coats for all of my swatches. This color is so absolutely vibrant where it looks like it could have a white base under it. The next polish is Clownfish, which is described as a light creamy neon orange. I think this one is picking up a little bit more yellow leaning than it actually is. I would almost describe it as a neon creamsicle if that helps. But this one, as you can see, has the same amazing formula where it is just so creamy and full coverage. It is nearly opaque on the first coat, but of course I'm going to do two for full opacity. And I don't think I mentioned it, but these tend to dry down a little bit like a semi-matte finish, probably because they are neons and that's uh, very typical of that formula. So don't forget to use top coat with these, but yeah, this is just another amazing shade. It's just so bright and refreshing for a hot summery day. The next shade is Soldier Fish, and this one is described as a bright creamy neon orange. So it's much more of a peachy orange compared to Clownfish, but again, this one is leaning a little bit more yellowy on video. But back to Swordfish, I think this is such a quintessential summer shade. Again, it has the same amazing coverage as do generally all of the Dimension Nails creams, at least the ones that I've tried across several different collections over the years, they are all this kind of consistency. So the only thing that I will say is that I could see some people finding the formula maybe a little too thick at times. It really is one of those where it stays where you put it, but I think they're easy to work with. Next up, we have Long Nose Hawkfish, which is described as a bright, creamy neon red with orange undertones. I'm not sure if I agree with the red part of the description. If anything, it's like a red leaning pinky coral. <laughs> and I know I'm repeating myself here, but I feel like these shades are just so perfect for summer. I would love wearing this as a full mani pedi. I think this one is probably my favorite, but I'm sure if you are familiar with me and my videos, you aren't surprised by that. <laughs> Again, this had the same creamy formula as the others, and I got it fully opaque in two coats. And the last shade that I picked up from this collection is Pink Manta Ray, which is described as a bright, creamy neon pink. <laughs> This is definitely more of a blue-leaning pink, and I think it is picking up slightly more purple as I'm swatching it than it actually is. I feel like this is such a perfect Barbiecore pink shade, honestly. <laughs> the formula on this one is the same as the others, but to be honest, I was on the fence about even picking this one up in the first place. Even though I'm obsessed with Barbie pink shades like this, I just don't always think they look great on me, but in the end, I'm really happy that I grabbed it because it is stunning. So moving on to comparisons, we're starting with Giant Clam and comparing it to Thirsty from Cirque's Vice Collection two years ago. So I'm not sure how well you can pick up the differences in the bottle. They do look extremely similar at first, but Giant Clam is actually way brighter. It almost makes Thirsty look less neon. So unfortunately, not a dupe, but here's two coats of each. 
Next for clownfish, I immediately thought of Olive Ave Creamsicle, which came out in last year's summer collection. And it is definitely a similar color, but it's not a neon. So on the nail, it does look a little bit darker and I would say a little bit more orangey next to clownfish. I think these are still super pretty though. I also have a comparison for Mooncat's Acidic from their Technicolor Dream Set earlier this year. And this one maybe looks a little bit more similar in the bottle, but there's more of a yellow tone to it living true to its name i think <laughs> and it's not quite as neon it's kind of like a pastel neon but honestly i think the dimension nails one kind of nails that description a little bit better and lastly for pink manta ray i'm comparing it to cirque's valley of the dolls which is another one of their discontinued vice shades but you can obviously tell it is much lighter i also wanted to share it next to socialite which was released earlier this year and that is another blue leaning pink, but it honestly just looks pretty purple to me. So yeah, no dupes here. So that wraps up my swatch and review for some of the new shades from the Great Barrier Reef collection from Dimension Nails. So I'm super excited that I finally got to do a proper and dedicated swatch and review video for this brand because I have shared Dimension Nails polishes here and there on my channel but it's always been in like a comparison portion of a video so i'm just glad that my first proper video for them is featuring these gorgeous gorgeous colors i know it is a little bit of a bummer that they were released super late into the summer season and everybody is you know moving on to fall and i think this video is actually in between two fall collection <laughs> videos but i just couldn't help myself and pick up some of these shades because i knew that i was going to love them and yeah i just really can't recommend them enough so if you want to check out dimension nails i will have their website linked in the description box down below and if you have any questions or just what your thoughts are on the shades or the brand in general feel free to leave a comment with that as well so we can chat about it but thank you so much for hanging out with me today i hope you have a great rest of your day and i will see you in the next one bye